In September 2015, the National Defense Headquarters inaugurated the Federal Government's Operation Safe Corridor, initiative which grants an amnesty to repentant Boko Haram members and reintegrates them back into society without facing persecution. It's actually an ideology. Almost two years on, this National Stakeholders Conference on Reintegration in the Northeast aims to examine the successes and challenges of that initiative and make recommendations. As well, reintegration, the initiative has successfully implemented voluntary vocational training for repentant Boko Haram members. There are 96 ex-combatants comprising 95 male and one female in the camp. Prior to this, six ex-combatants have successfully gone through the program and have been reunited with their families since June this year and are presently undergoing further training with NDE Skill Acquisition Training Center in their respective states. In Nigeria. For the KUKA Center, the success of the reintegration program will be determined, however, by a variety of factors. A national framework to deal with the issues of the radicalization must address the practical life and death issues that can sustain the, you know, the faith of people. And our challenge and our responsibility, and this is why I'm very happy with the way and the great amount of work that the center has done, um, by going and insisting and focusing on victims as opposed to those with the power. The anger is there. There are grievances that have been accumulated historically over the years, either against individuals, against the government, or against institutions. So I think that when you want to address the issue of reintegration, both of Boko Haram members and even of victims, the government really has to also address the concerns of the local communities. There are currently two million internally displaced people in the northeast victims of insurgency who constantly depend on humanitarian assistance for their survival. And therefore, participants at this conference are calling on the government to urgently resolve this crisis once and for all.